Uh, good morning, everybody. This is Kenwick from the Pixel Pass team, and we're playing some more Minecraft doing the Three Strikes Challenge. It's been a little while since I've done one of these, so let me just go over what I've been working on. Uh, I've done nothing with my house, done nothing with my shed, my mine shaft's still there, still have my blacksmith thing. But what I have done is I flattened out that hill like I said I would, and I said I was going to do it off camera. Why? Because it took me three hours to get to this, and I went through a million freaking picks and a million freaking shovels. I'm still not finished because I still have to go one layer down. And the other thing that I'm doing is I'm bringing all this dirt layers up so that this can all be flat land and I can build on it much easier. I'm also putting a little side, a little walkway here because I think it looks nice. Um, what I have here now is my um, board. I have a to-do list, uh, capture cows so I can make, get leather because I want to build a library inside there. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a new home because I think this one looks really stupid. Uh, or at least in my opinion. On the inside, I don't like the inside. The outside looks kind of dumb too. But I'm going to put it over there and that's what I'm going for. I'm flattening out the land so that means getting rid of that one extra layer of stone and putting more dirt over this. Find more valuable minerals. I'm running out of iron. Um, I decided not to use stone to flatten all that out because it just took too damn long. So I just used iron, and so I'm low on iron, and I'd like to get more. I also need more gold and diamonds. Build something in the mountains right over there. I was scoping it out a little bit earlier. It's really pretty, and I want to build something. I don't know yet. Maybe just, you know, a home or a tower of some kind. Uh, and get wood. I don't have enough. And uh, that's pretty much all I have to do. But before I start doing any of that, I found something really cool whilst I was capturing chickens, because I was trying to get them because I need their feathers to make arrows. Um, hello there. Yes, I'm going to eat you. Ooh, egg. But that's what I was doing. And whilst I was waiting, whilst I was uh, capturing chickens, I found something really neat hiding away over here. Oh, look at that. That looks pretty. But um, right over here is where I wanted to go and explore in this episode. Get rid of this. There we go. What? How is this not gonna work? Okay, fine. Boom. Okay. Anyway, I did that so I can capture the chickens easily. But, um, found this massive cave down here. I wanted to explore it. And, uh, try to find more resources. Look how big this is! This is huge! Holy crap! I want to light it up. For now. I might... I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with it. So what I want to do is explore it real quick. And see what I could do with it. And maybe... Build something in here. Because look how freaking cool this place is. Yeah. Alright, so, let's just take a look, ooh, at what's down here. Try not to die and lose a life. Oi, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. Bitch, please. There we go. Your pointy sticks do nothing. Thank you. very much. Do, 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 do. Anyway. More creepers. Come to me. Come to me. Alright. Let's just finish lighting this place up. Ah. We'll go down there in a second. First, let's take a good look at the place from above with all the lights on. Anyway, uh, yeah, this place is really nice. I'd like to do something with it. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below of what you think it should be done, because this is really good. I could use it as a mob grinding arena, just sort of like come down here and kill shit just to get uh, their bones and arrows and the such, but 
No, who knows? Who knows? We'll we'll figure it out as we go. I'll I'll try to make a plan and stick it on the billboard. But I kind of like the uh, maybe I could make a giant mushroom farm. I wonder if giant mushrooms would work down here at all. I should try it out. Do I have a mushroom on me? No. All right, that's what we'll do. We'll we'll test giant mushrooms down here. That's what we'll do real quick. Let's go. Let's go get a mushroom. Wow. Get a mushroom and some bone meal real quick see how that works and then we'll explore some more of that cave to try to find valuables and such and have you noticed at all lately that squids just die on their own they never died on their own before but now they're just dying everywhere was that just um was that coded in on purpose because the only logical reason i can think about having that be you know intentional was because there was too many squid spawning and they wanted them to eventually disappear but I just doesn't make any sense to me other than that as to why they would do it. So that's my answer to the question, but I just, I'd like to know what you guys think. Why the hell do they keep spawning and how can I get rid of them? I mean, not get rid of them. How can I get rid of all the uh, dead things floating around? Cause I don't like, I like, I like squid. I like them being there. I don't really like the idea of them constantly dying and disappearing. Okay go get these red mushrooms to grow that'd be awesome i could have an underground mushroom like abode a little grotto for mushrooms oh that'd be awesome and sweet uh, or i could turn it into a uh, mob grinding thing with cacti which isn't too bad of an idea so if the mushrooms don't work we'll do that instead we'll turn it into a place where i can just kill stuff with cactus Things are still spawning in here, too. Go away. Get out of here. Hmm. Okay. So. Next. What? There we go. And... Get rid of that. Boom. It's not like taking the bone meal either. What happens if I... Wah! Yes, it works! Okay, this is now my underground uh, mushroom grotto. You know, what I, you know what my friends and I would always do with uh, mushrooms once they grew? We do this. from far away they're like giant mushroom lamps oh it looks so cool okay okay here it goes here it goes There we go. That is so cool. Oh, I miss these things. I haven't had one of these in so long. All right. I'm, I'm stoked now, you guys. Sorry, you guys. Ah, oh, I keep calling you guys. It's not you guys. It's Pixels. Sorry, Pixels. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm having one of those those Sundays. So, uh, there we go. This is now our new, our new mushroom farm. Our new mushroom grotto. I'll work more on this off camera and get this perfect. And then we can come down here and we'll decorate it and make it all pretty. And we'll have our nice little underground mushroom place because look at this. Look at this. It's a nice high ceiling. How deep am I? 37. Wow. Pretty deep. All right. Cool. Well, now that we're here, let's explore some more. Make some more torches. Boop. And down we go. Whoa. Oh, looks like I've already been down here. What is this? I don't remember it. Let's take a look. Take a quick look. All right, tons of lava. And there's something over there. Let's try to dig our way over there. 
do, 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 do. It's been so long since I've done a three strikes challenge. I'm actually having a lot of fun. Can't wait to do it. So do some more. It's gonna. I'm gonna be really. It's gonna be hard to fight the temptation of just recording another one. But for now, I'll wait. I'll wait. I can fight. I can fight the temptation. Okay. I don't like that. I don't like not having torches on the right. It's my little OCD thing. I have to have torches on the right. It's how I navigate. I know some people like to use signs. I used to use signs, and then I realized that they take too much effort to make signs. I'll stick with torches. Ooh. Um. So let's get into the lava. There you go. That's that's better. That's where you belong. That's where you belong. Yeah. That's where you belong. Right. Oh. In the lava. Come on. Or that. That's fine. Okay. Um, if I just do this, can I dig straight down here? Yes, I can. It's safe. It's evil to dig straight down. It's against the rules. It's a law. You go to hell if you do that. Literally. Okay. Um. Let's get all the way over here. Some other things that I've always liked about ravines is there's always that, like, I really want to, uh, make something in a ravine, but I just can't be bothered because it's too dangerous. But I'm really found, I'm glad I went to that cave and made some more red mushrooms because it's been so long since I've seen a red mushroom. But it used to be really easy to make them. You just had to, you know, get a little bit of darkness and you were set. Red mushrooms galore. But not anymore. Such a pain. Okay. I have plenty of... Well, I don't have that much redstone, but that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to see what this is over here. Oh. It's a second ravine. Good gracious. A seed. Now I know why I chose it. Just goes on in that direction until I can't see any further. There's some more gold over here. Well... One of our goals was to find gold, so... Huzzah. <gasps> oh. Didn't see that. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. Okay. Let's get this gold. Get, get out of the way! You know what? Die. Getting in my way. <clears> hmm. <throat> they're like, they're like keys. Ah! Flaming keys, run away or else my shield will burn up. Yes, gold. Okay, what else? More iron, which is needed, but it's so out of the way. Uh, can't really see anything down there. How deep am I? Level 12. So this is the deepest that this ravine goes, which is where I need to get to. If I can just tell, this is pretty deep. I need to find diamonds. More diamonds. There's never enough diamonds. And 12 is a good layer to look for stuff. Whoa! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! That was the sound of a creeper dying. Oh! What is this? What's going on? What is all this noise? Oh. Hello there. I see you. Ow. Taste your own medicine. Ooh! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh. I'm losing. I'm losing it. I'm losing it, man. What's that? It looks peculiar. Can't really tell. Let's get this iron. Is 
That really scared me. Ooh, anyway. Onward. Onward we go. Mm. Or maybe not. Yeah, let's just get this iron. We'll head back up. I'll end it here. I'll work more on those mushroom farm, on that mushroom grotto. And I'll try to grab some vines and flowers as well and just decorate stuff. I wish if I had a uh, shovel or a pick of silk touch, I'd get some grass down there too. But what I'm probably going to do is spend time making a trail of dirt leading downward. So I'm going to just start collecting dirt now. I'll try to get some grass in the grotto because that'll look really cool. And then I'll light it up. And the such. Also, I said a couple, I don't know what episode I said that I was going to try to get to the nether sometime soon, and I'm not going to do that because of the, re cause the new uh, redstone update, which is coming in like a week, um, is going to have like the quartz stuff in the nether, and I don't want to miss out on that. So I'm going to wait until that comes out before I spawn and before I generate the nether, because I'd like to have some of the newer stuff in this world. So I, don't, I really don't want to get rid of this world, because it's a pretty decent world, and I've already put some work into it. So, we're just going to wait on that, and for now, I'm going to block off these water flows, just for now, until, until I can, uh, make cooler stuff down here. Then I'll have like a grotto and little underground lakes and stuff like that. So this will be the next project before I do any of those other things. Or I'll just add this to the bulletin board. And this will be the mushroom grotto is what we're working on next. So I found eight gold, six lapis, and 30 diamond on that export. I mean 30 uh, iron on that um, little outing, which I'd say was worth it. Good episode. Good day. Uh, let's just rush home real quick and try to avoid dying and find another sign to uh, decide what to do, but who knows, we'll see. Run away, not dealing with anything right now, or I'll be adventurous and fight you. Oh, he's gone. Oh, I'm dying. Ugh. What? Wait, yeah. Oh! Ah. You're next, Enderman. Ah. ah! God damn it. Um. Well. There's my first life gone. Shit. Um. Well. That was fun. Life number one lost. I still have two lives left, so let's avoid losing those. I had all that experience! Ah! Okay. Life one. Out of here. I know I had more stuff. I had another sword. No, I didn't. I broke it. Okay. Now, where's the Enderman that I was fighting? Because I want to kill him. Or I'll just avoid him. Yeah, let's just avoid him for now. Why do you have to be so short? Okay. Ugh. Gotta organize my inventory now. Anyway, uh, good episode, you guys. This has been Ken Whit from the Pixel Posse team. Lost my first life. Uh, and, you know, have a nice day, my fellow Pixels. Leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment below as to what you'd like me to do in this series. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.